welcome back to the bookworms buddy it is time for a different kind of video I just recently joined a group called monthly recommendations and this group was started by Trina over at between chapters and Kayla rain and I will link to the group in the description box below um, what we do is give our recommendations each month that fall under a particular category that they decide on so for August it is on underrated books. We can share however many we want or how little we want and all that good stuff. So let's get started. I chose one book and two series that I wanted to talk about, which I figured I've talked about a lot, but I figured I'd do them anyway. So for the single book that I chose, I chose 112263 by Stephen King. You don't see hardly anybody talking about this book, well, except me. And it really needs to be talked about. I had a read-along on this in March. I, I want to say it was March. And we had a, a, a good discussion. We had a thread to talk about it. And there were several people that decided to read the book. This book is on 11-22-63, which was the assassination of JFK, John F. Kennedy. And this was through Stephen King's eyes. And it really, he really just spun a tale that it was unbelievable, actually. There was time travel, and it's, of course it's historical, and there's mystery, and there's romance, and just so many feels that go along with this book. It is a large book, but it flows really, really well. And I've read it twice, um, and I absolutely love it. And I know that I will probably read it again in the future. Um, it's just, it's one of those stories that keeps you turning the pages. I just got so engrossed in the story. It, it was just, it's just, and it's amazing, amazing story. And if you've not read it, um, you really should pick it up. And even if you don't like horror, this is not a horror book. There's nothing scary about it. So if you'd like to read Stephen King, but you don't like scary books, and this is a great one to choose. And I can guarantee you, you'll probably like it, especially if you like time travel. And just the way that he wrote it was unique and very different from other time traveling stories. And I really liked that aspect of it as well. So there's that one. Okay, for the first series I chose, I chose the Septimus Heap series. I only have just this one book. And this is by Angie Sage. Um, there is a lot of similarities to Harry Potter but a lot of differences as well. It, this one is not defined by years, like a yearly schedule like Harry Potter is. Like you got the first year, second year, third year. And this one is just like a continuing story. You don't focus so much on um, how they grow up because it, they don't seem to really age all that much. It's not really a focus in the story. So it keeps the story middle grade where with Harry Potter, you kind of, you know, as the books advance, it gets closer and closer to adultish kind of content. Um, this one doesn't do that. Um, there are seven books in the series. I think it's written really, really well. It's kind of a down step from Harry Potter. It's not, it doesn't get as intense, I don't think, but it's still a really, really good story. I've read it, read them twice up to the fourth book. I read twice. I had to reread them to get my mind back into the story to continue the series. So it's really good if you like Harry Potter. You'll like this. There's a lot of magical elements, a lot of little trinkets and stuff that they use. And it's just really, really good. And Septimus Heap is a really good character. And I love their development. Even though they don't, you don't really get the focus on aging, it's still really, really very good with great cast of characters. And I just think it should be enjoyed more. And I think adults can, can enjoy it just as much as middle grade kids or teens. Then for the second series I chose, this probably should not be surprising to you guys, but <laughs> this is uh, the Joe Ledger series by Jonathan Mayberry. There are going to be, I believe, eight total books in the series. Um, I've read books one through six so far. I still need to get seven, which came out this year. Um, and that one is called Predator One. But, ugh, you guys, it just, I, I feel like I'm such a broken record. And I feel like I fangirl so much 
over this series and over Joe, but I cannot help myself. Now, I've gotten some people to start reading it, and they've really, really enjoyed it. Uh, my husband read the whole series that oh, so far, and he really enjoyed it. Uh, my friend Susan is reading it, and she really enjoyed this one. I mean, it's just, this one starts out, this one is a zombie one. And I think it was really creative how he did that because he has the Benny Amira series as well. And that is a zombie series, a completely different zombie series from any other zombie series I've ever read. And, okay, that's another one underrated. But, um, so he got into this one with zombie. And, it, and at the time I picked this one up, I had just finished reading The Rotten Ruin. So it was really ingenious. I'm like, oh, is that more zombies? Let's read it. It's by Jonathan Mayberry. And it just really drew me in. But really the series is more on terrorism. And for someone to be able to get me to read something about terrorism, um, yeah, that that's a huge feat in itself. And I just enjoyed every single book. And I cannot wait to get Predator 1 and get that one read. And there'll be one more after that. But you guys, if you've not read... Even anything by Jonathan Mayberry, you really need to. Um, this is his adult series, and then and then the Benny Amir series is his, is his young adult series. Um, he's got other series as well, but yeah, this is probably one of my all-time favorite ever series next to the Dark Tower series. Um, and now Outlander that I'm reading is going to be another favorite series, but yeah. Um, so in the description box, I will link to a video that I did covering this and I will link to a video covering this series. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my first monthly recommendations. Um, I think this is going to be really fun to do and to be able to do them under some kind of, you know, whatever the uh, idea is for the month or the topic for the month. So um, I think it should be really um, exciting. So come check that out because I'll link to that group and you can come check out the group and maybe join us there. So what are some of your guys's favorite underrated books let me know in the comments below and we will talk about it thanks guys for staying tuned and i'll see you in the next video bye